In continuation to the previous video, let us learn more about widgets. We mentioned material app in the last video, which is a special widget that wraps around the entire app and enables you to use themes, navigation, and home. So the first parameter that we design, define inside the material app is the title. The title is a one line description to help the device to identify the app for the user. So in this case, let us set the title to flutter app. Next up is home, which is a named parameter and accepts a widget that becomes the default route for the app. Now by default route, I mean that whenever the app opens, the first page that you see on the app would be what the widget defined inside home. Now let us define the home widget for this material app. So we build a class, we call it home. And like in the previous video, we extend it to a stateless widget. And now in the stateless widget, we will override it to add our own properties. And we will also mention the build method to build what we mentioned on the screen. We give it a context. And this build will return a scaffold widget. So now when we run this, what we are expecting is to build a scaffold on the screen, which is a completely white uh, workspace to work on where we can add our widgets and app bar and so on and so forth. So let us run this piece of code. And this is going to take some time. So bear with me here, please. So it is now launching in debug mode. It's starting the Xcode build. And that's good response. Everything looks well for now. Build is done. And there we are. So you see that the screen has turned white. Now it hasn't really turned white, but a scaffold has been built on the screen. And this is like an open canvas for you to build your UI upon. So this is it for the video. And then we will see you shortly.